Today, I wanted to do a quick update on an easier way of doing occlusion. So previously, we had shown a video of how you could do occlusion using shaders, and you basically compare the depth information from the 3D scene to the actual scene, and then you discard uh, fragments through a fragment shader to get to the actual result that you wanted, which is occlusion. Uh, but there's actually a much simpler way that I found while I was playing around with the shadow mapping. And so basically, if you do get your shadow mapping together, you can just make it a non-transparent material. And if it's a non-transparent material, it'll block anything that's behind it. And since the shadow material is actually a fairly performant material and it doesn't have to render everything, it ends up working out fairly efficiently. So it's actually a good way of, if you have multiple meshes, to do occlusion with it. And so this is something that in the kind of current game that I'm playing with, though, the World War II game, it actually makes it a lot easier because you only have to, because you only have to occlude once and that includes all of the objects which is a really big benefit that you don't have to attach a shader to every single object in that sense it's not useless to actually use a shader one thing that comes up a lot with occlusion and ar is that it's actually a little bit annoying fully occlude something so you might want to just alpha occlude something so that it's clear that it's behind something but you can still see a portion of that object because one of the things that does come up with complete occlusion is you start losing track of objects and that's something that does come up with this new method of just using a using a shadow material that can occlude is that you end up kind of completely removing that object and then you have no sense of where it is. So it does cause some issues in that regard. Also makes one of the limitations of depth incredibly clear, and that is that it's more of a cutting out algorithm versus a filling in algorithm. So when you are making an algorithm to estimate depth, basically there's a there's an assumption about what happens if you don't know enough information about the scene. And so you can take kind of two approaches. You can say that if there is if you aren't sensing anything, that there is empty space there, or you can take the assumption that if you aren't sensing anything, there is material there. And so the depth API actually takes a rather conservative approach. You end up with your field being a lot closer than you expect. So you end up with this kind of doming effect where the material where you will occlude a lot sooner than the actual distance. So like just to be clear, if this was set up the other way where it assumed that there was empty space, you would end up with no occlusion and the objects would end up flying through walls much easier. Whereas right now it's set up in such a way that it occludes very early on. So the code is very straightforward. It's basically just changing a tag on the shadow material. And if you don't need a shadow material in your scene, you can make it so that it doesn't cast a shadow onto the material and you just use it for occluding but yeah that's basically it for the code i had quite a bit of extra footage for this one so here's just some extra footage that i recorded <laughs> 